Hey you guys, jumping right into this tutorial. Eyebrows are already done and I'm going to go ahead and prep my eyelids with this LA Girl Pro Concealer in beautiful bronze. I'm going to be going in with this subculture palette by Anastasia and using the color Mercury to go ahead and blend that into my transition and tr crease color. Um, My thoughts on this eyeshadow palette. I know I'm late and it's whatever. But yeah, I don't really care for this palette and you'll see why later on in a different tutorial. But going back into this one, <laughs> I went in with some black gel eyeliner and went ahead and applied that on my lid because I'm doing a smoky eye. And I want the black eyeshadow to have something to stick on to so it is nice and dark and smoky and black. Okay, so after I did this, I went in with some black eyeshadow from um i don't even know what little makeup kit this is, was but i'm using this black eyeshadow and i honestly didn't really care for it because it wasn't giving me the blackest black that i was looking for but later on in this tutorial i'm going to go in with another black eyeshadow and deepen up that um black okay so after i applied that black eyeshadow i went in and blended out that the edges so there's no harsh lines and everything is blended together. Next, I'm going in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, priming my face and getting ready to do my foundation. After I do my foundation, I'm gonna go back in and finish up these eyes, but as of right now, let's get into this face. So I'm gonna be going in with my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the color NW50 and going ahead and apply that to my face. I'm also going to go in with the same concealer that I prepped my eyelids with and color correct my dark spots on my face and my bags as well. Okay, so here's where I applied the extra black eyeshadow, and I'm so glad I did because it just made that eyeshadow look so much more darker, a lot smokier, and the black that should have appeared the first time. <laughs> so yeah, I applied this, and then next I'm going to be going in to some, uh, what am I going to do, some eyelashes and some concealer. Going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amande, and I believe I also put chestnut, no walnut, walnut on here as well to brighten up that under eye because it is Halloween, so why not? Be extra, why don't you? <laughs> so yeah, here I go in with the shade Walnut and brightened up that concealer. When I blend out my concealer, I usually let my under eyes sit for a couple minutes so it gets a little tacky and it doesn't move around as much and the coverage is on point. Okay, so once I'm done blending this out, I'm going to go in with some Sasha Buttercup setting powder and go ahead and set my under eyes in all the places that I've highlighted. Next, I'm going to be contouring with that True Complexion Contour Palette and also my MAC um, Blush and Film Noir just to give it an extra sharpness and like extra depth. I'm telling y'all, it's Halloween. Why not just be extra for no reason? <laughs> Okay, so off camera, I applied some red eyeliner to my lash line, to my bottom lash line, and then also went ahead and smoked out my bottom lash line as well with some eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be going in with some black liquid eyeliner and creating the spider. The fun part, you guys. So, I'm going to be creating the legs of the spider, and my eye is going to be like the body. So I'm just going to be doing like a rough draft of how the legs are going to be looking and if you make a mistake it's okay, we're going to fix it in the long run. Also this 
eye, this eyeshadow, <laughs> this Halloween makeup spider illusion blase blase was inspired by Miss Aaliyah J here on YouTube. So I watched her video and decided to just recreate what she did. So if you want to see like how she did it, you can guys go on over to her channel and watch it as well. So like I said, you don't have to create the legs as perfect as possible <laughs> the first go around because you're going to be going in and thickening the legs up. So here I'm just creating the legs, getting them how I want, putting them in the places that I want. Um, also, like Miss Aaliyah J said, the third leg is going to be like the longest. So create that one a little bit longer. And you're just creating lines <laughs> that look like spider legs. Okay, so here I just fast forwarded because I'm doing the same thing. I am just thickening up the legs and making sure everything is even as possible, all all the same thickness. And if you messed up, I'm getting ready to guys, getting ready you guys, <laughs> getting ready to show you guys that I cleaned mine up by using some concealer and just cleaning up the spots that I messed up. Okay, so right here, I'm just going in with the concealer and fixing up the spots that I messed up. And if one leg is a little thicker than the other, I'm going to just smooth it out by using the concealer as well. Okay, so this was the fun part. I went back in with that Anastasia Subculture palette and used the shade Mercury. It is like a cool tone brown, so this was perfect for the shadow portion of the look. So you have to create some highlight and some shadow to the spider so it looks ultra 3D. So I went in and just connected it from one side or one end of the leg to the other end with some of the eyeshadow and created what appears to be a spider walking on my face. <laughs> so after that, I went in with some black eyeshadow and at the points of those legs, I just created more of the dimension or the illusion that the spider was walking on my face. <laughs> so doing this makes it look like it is literally on your face. <laughs> I know I keep repeating that, but it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's easier for you to just watch and do it as I do it than me try to explain what I'm really doing. Because once you do it, as you guys see, it really looks good. Okay, so once I'm done doing this on each leg, I'm going to go in with some white eyeshadow base by NYX and create the highlights of the spider. So just going in with this angled eyeliner brush. <laughs> I know I said that it's so weird because I forgot what, what it was called. So on the spider legs, um, just two points randomly, doesn't matter. I created highlights or high points so it looks ultra, ultra 3D and ultra like it's crawling on my face. <laughs> Okay, so once I'm done with this, I'm just going to finish up the eye, go ahead and apply some mascara to both eyelashes, and apply some lashes by Prim and Prissy in the style Enchantress. After that, I went in with this Revolution, well, Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette and went in with that orange shade. Even though it didn't show up on camera, it did appear um, like an orange highlight in person so I'm kind of sad that you can't really see the true color and th true highlight but it was beautiful I went in with that white shimmery shade and applied that for my eyebrow bone highlights and went on to lips okay so I went in with a black eyeliner you can use anything black just outline your lips with something black I went in with that and then also went in with the Anastasia um, Anastasia lip palette, lip lipstick palette, and I used the red shade and applied that to my lips. Um, and then this is going to be the finished look, you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I honestly loved creating this spider. It was so cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay black, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye, you guys.